So Amplitude Pro X3, exporting individual tracks as stems, multi-track bounce. Stem export is an often used phrase amongst DAW users nowadays. It's the process of bouncing down or rendering each individual track from a project into separate WAV files. These individual files can then be sent to another studio or collaborator. Although this method is called multi-track bounce in Samplitude, it still produces stems in the same way. For example, if you have a project which contains 16 tracks, whether it be all audio or a combination of audio and MIDI, using this multi-track bounce method will produce 16 individual stems. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export stems from Samplitude. I have a project here which is actually one of the demo songs that comes with Samplitude Pro X3. This should work as a good example to demonstrate how to export stems. It has 10 audio tracks and 6 MIDI tracks. You can see that there are many edits in the audio. The good thing about exporting stems in Samplitude is that there's no need to consolidate individual tracks before exporting. The audio and MIDI tracks will automatically be consolidated during export. Obviously, if you're collaborating with another Samplitude user, you could send the complete project and it may not be necessary to send the stems. However, if you need to send the project to a non-Samplitude user, this is when stem export becomes essential. Then they can continue working on the project using the door of their choice. This project contains a mix of 12 mono and 4 stereo tracks. I'm including 3 of the MIDI tracks as mono, kick, snare and hats. If you want to retain the mono stereo format of the tracks, you will need to export the mono tracks in one pass and then export the stereo tracks in a second pass. Before I begin exporting the tracks, there's some things I need to do. To begin with, I'm saving the project with an amended name. I'm using the shortcut Shift plus S to open the Save Project As dialog. So I'm saving this project as Samplitude Stems Export. This means the original project will be unaffected by any changes I make. Resetting FX Pan and Volume. I'm going to presume that the person I'm sending it to wants the raw files without effects. Also, we need to set any panning to center and set all the faders to 0 dB. At the far right of the mixer, there is a column headed Resets. Clicking the stereo button will remove all effects and reset the faders and pan settings. Any virtual instruments will remain untouched as they would obviously be needed for the bounce. Alternatively, you could use the bypass button which will bypass all effects. But then you would need to manually reset each fader to zero. This would mean double clicking on each fader. Same with any pans you need to reset. Although it's a slower process, you do retain the FX settings. But for this example, I'm going to use the faster method, which is to click the Stereo Reset button. Bearing in mind, I've also saved this project with a new name, so the original one retains the settings. Bypassing Object Effects One other thing worth considering before exporting is Object Effects. If the project is using FX on the object level, these will need to be bypassed before exporting the stems. If you only have a small number of objects with effects on them, the easiest way to bypass them would be to control select the objects and then double click to open the object editor. Making sure apply to all is enabled, tick the bypass FX checkbox to apply to all the selected objects. Now the object effects will no longer be active and the objects will be labeled as no effects. If your project has many object effects, the easiest way is to lasso select all the audio objects, then double click on one of the objects. It doesn't matter whether it has an effect on it or not. Once again, make sure the apply to all checkbox is ticked, then tick the bypass effects checkbox and every object will have its effects bypassed. So now we are ready to start the export procedure.
exporting mono stems. I'm going to start by bouncing out the mono tracks to stems. Tracks 1 to 8 are mono, so I'm clicking on the name field of the top track and shift clicking on the name field of track 8. Control clicking in the name field of track 10 and shift clicking in the name field of track 13. So now we have the 12 mono tracks selected. I'm going to file track bouncing to open the bouncing dialog. Routing is set to master from VIP start to last object. Under vertical special functions, I'm choosing all selected tracks individually, multi-track bouncing. Under generate, I'm selecting create new audio file. Format is wave 24 bit mono for this pass and sample rate 44.1. I'm ticking calculate maximum amplitude, although this is optional. No need to touch the dithering as I'm keeping the same 24 bit rate and Samplitude automatically detects that. I'm going to save this as a preset and call it Mono Stems. I'm creating a new folder called Stem Export and saving it to that folder. So now the bounces are underway. It shouldn't take too long as I've edited the video. Bouncing is finished. Exporting stereo stems. I now need to bounce the remaining four stereo tracks. I'm selecting the violin track, then control left clicking on the toms track, then shift left clicking on the tambourine track. So that's all four tracks selected. I'm opening the bouncing dialog again. I'm keeping the settings the same, except I'm changing the generating option to stereo. I will save that setting as a preset and call it stereo stems. Click OK and I'm ready to save into the stem export folder. You can see the previously saved mono stems are already in there. Once again, I've edited the video to speed up the bouncing process. So that completes the process of exporting the stems from that project. Exporting stems from ranges. It's possible you may want to create stems from just a section of the project, maybe just a few bars. This time I'm going to export all 16 tracks as separate stereo WAV files. In this example, track selection will have no bearing on the export. Just draw a range of the desired length between the section you want to export. Then open the bouncing dialog. Normally the horizontal option, only marked range, will automatically be activated. If not, choose it from the drop down list. Then under Vertical Special Functions, choose All Audible Tracks, Individually Multi-Track Bounce. Click OK to navigate to the Stem Export folder. I'm going to create a subfolder so the original files don't get overwritten. I'm going to name the folder Stem Range Export, so now they will be bounced into that folder. Please hold while the bounce is carried out. So, the bounce is completed. As you can see from the bounce dialog, there are lots of different options and combinations. These range from a simple stereo bounce to the stem export I've been talking about. In the first two examples I gave you, when exporting mono and stereo stems, I selected the tracks. Then opened the bounce dialog and chose the option All Selected Tracks Individually Multi-Track Bouncing. But there is another method, which is to enable solo on the tracks you want to export, rather than selecting the tracks. If you use this method, choose the option from the Vertical Special Functions menu, All Audible Tracks, Individually, Multi-Track Bounce. Then stems will be rendered from just the soloed tracks. 
So that more or less covers the various options for creating stems in Samplitude. I hope you found it useful. I've asked Magix to add the option to export mono and stereo files at the same time. This should be arriving in the next update, hopefully, but currently export is limited to either mono or stereo, not both simultaneously. That's why you need to do it in separate passes. Having completed this video, I can see there are various other things I need to show about the bounce dialog, but that will need to be in another tutorial. So until the next time, all the best.